All right, so we're going to finish this up. So I got these pods in. Um, these are pretty rough. All right, listen. It looks like they were uh, 3D. Made in a 3D printer. But So I was wanting to stick it here, and it's really not going to fit like I want it to. Um, and then I was just going to use, say so this is the pod. I was just going to have the pod right here. But um, whenever I have this coat, the uh, handlebar cover on there, you wouldn't be able to see it anyways. And it it gets in the way of the, the gas tank. So um, Unfortunately, what I'm going to have to do is put it up here. It's going to look like freaking Mickey Mouse. But, whatever. Uh, as you can see, it doesn't sit flush, obviously, because this is curved. So what I'm going to have to do is um, file this down to match this curve. So, hang on. So hopefully that'll give us kind of the contour that we need. And then back there. So, all right, let's get to the grinder. All right, let's see if we're on the right track anyways. Uh, yeah, that's a lot better. So, all right. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep following this down. Um, it only has two attachment points, which is here and here. So, um, that's all I'm, that's all I'm really concerned about is I don't, grind off these attachment points so and then this can come up so uh, y'all don't need to watch that y'all saw how I kind of started doing that and that's how I will continue so I'll get back with you once I'm done mounting these alright so I got these about as good as I'm gonna get them um, what I'm gonna do is I need a drill hole for the wires to fit through and then I'm going to silicone all this in and then screw it on there. So I'm going to drill a couple of holes now. I have a hole here. I have a hole over here. So I need to run these two wires up through there. And that is not going to be big enough. So now we need to hook this up. Alright guys, so we're back at this again. Uh, so my attempt at making this was a complete fail. Wah, wah, wah. But you never know until you try it, right? So um, I tried to make that bolt to where I could just put in uh, the, the temperature sensor and then um, yeah you just have, just have that temperature sensor going through that bolt and good to go well not not so much <laughs> um, it was a major fail 
unfortunately, there's some people out there that's a lot better at uh, machining than I am. And I got this off of uh, eBay, I think. Either eBay or uh, Amazon, one or the other. It was only ten bucks, nine ninety nine, uh, free shipping, I believe. Let's see which one this is. What's that? And so, what you get with that is you get all these different adapters. Uh, this is the M12 by 1.5, which that's what we need to fit in there. And then our temperature sensor screws into there, and this gets on to there. So, I'm gonna. Uh, Teflon tape all this stuff up. I'm just lining those up just to make it look nice. So, I'm still going to tie this up, I haven't had a chance to do that yet, but I want to see if this is going to register the temperature. See it's registering on there. And that's registering. Well there you go. This is showing that it's flashing in the camera, but just keep in mind, this is a, it's a solid number. It's not doing any kind of flashing or, or whatever. Um, it's just a solid number in real life. Um, same thing with this one. It looks like it's dim and it's kind of getting bright and dim and bright and all that stuff, but it is a solid dark blue. So you can see everything. But, uh, yeah, so everything's working good. Uh, I do not expect to flood this thing, get it up past the tires and mud and water and all that stuff. I, I don't think that these can take that. Uh, I don't think they have any kind of IP setting or anything like that to where... Uh, I don't know. But what I, I still need to do is get some caulking and put up there. I'll also put it around here. Um, and that'll be done for this project. It took me a lot longer than I thought, but you know, it's done now. So if you guys want to add on um, your battery, a, a voltage readout, that's how you do it. If you want to add on a temperature sensor uh, and gauge, this is how I did it. Uh, hope this helps you out. Y'all comment right, and we will catch you later. Thanks for watching. See ya.